morning, everyone. Say happy Easter. Happy Easter. What were you telling Abram? You said, Abram, today's the day. The day that Jesus, what were you saying to him in bed? Good morning, Cranky. What you mad about? You want to eat some breakfast? Good morning, everyone. It is bright and early on Easter morning, and I'm getting ready to make some breakfast. I have eggs and some sausage and little potatoes. Went to Target last night. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, Daddy. Get the precious boy helping cook. Look at that guy go. Lord, good job, dude. Tell your mommy or daddy how to sleep in. What a man. Oh, my God. Whoa. That is delicious. What is it? I want to taste it all three together. Oh, yeah. That tasted delicious. I thought that was good. Oh yeah, hi big guy. Oh, <laughs> what's your high point, guys? My high point is is getting out of bed with a happy smile, and my low point is like so my I don't have a low point. Body's falling. And again, and again. What a handsome little man! Watch your step. Okay. We gotta be okay. what? Be cautious. Oh, look at this sleepy church boy. We're at church with Aunt Marilyn this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Symphony's talking Happy to Julia. Resurrection day. Yes. Got snorting on me a little bit. In fact, this is the very cornerstone of the gospel. That we we have no gospel if we have no resurrection. Paul says in 1 Corinthians 15, if Christ is not raised, your faith is worthless, and you are still in your sins. Then a reliance upon the power of the Holy Spirit because of the resurrection of Christ. And so we're going to consider this, I'm going to look at this under four points. Maryland's after church, and we're playing with all these awesome toys. She has such cute toys. Look at this latte maker. And Symphony and Abram are not wanting to share. Sam's outside hiding Easter eggs. No peeking, Symphony. Okay. Where'd he go? Summer came back as a bunny. Are you going to look for eggs? Did you get that because they didn't have a shirt? Good, because I'm hiding some kind of arm. And my hair fell down. I barely grabbed it, messed it all up. We are hiding Easter eggs. Jessica is like very thorough about this. It's been a good what? job. This, Take a video. this is Josh here. Hi. Hiding eggs. He's eggs. got the majority of the eggs. eggs. It's a pretty small yard to be hiding like, how many eggs did you guys make? Like, I don't know, we made like 100 eggs. Probably. It was at least 100, right? Oh, we should have counted them before we hid them so I we know. knew how many we hid. <laughs> There's only three kids to find all these eggs. Let me go. The dog is going to help him. I'll carry the basket. We're going to the basket when we find it. This one's Abram. Where's he? You've got one. Put it in the basket. Put it in your basket. Yeah, let's go over here. Do you see something? He found one. Look up! Look up! 
there it is. The polka dot. Good job. <laughs> Can you get it for April? Get in your basket. The egg hunt is over. It looks like Summer got second place after symphony. This poor guy woke up at 6.30 and skipped his nap. He's cranky now. No. Oh, night did it. Does then? That's my uncle Stevie, guys. But I'm thinking. My mom's brother. But I'm thinking that he teaches Japanese. Sorry. No, I teach. I teach English. Oh, English. I mean, he teaches English to the Japanese. And he's really good at it, guys. He makes a lot of money. He's pretty awesome. But yeah, does he look like my mom? I look like Grandpa online. Everyone. Looks like they're playing Batman out here. There he is, the man of the hour. What's up, bro? This guy. Actually, it's an umbrella. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> All right, I play Wiener. Oh, I gotta follow the badminton. Is it badminton or badminton? It's Batman mitten. <laughs> <laughs> That's my hat, dude. It's my hat. I've been wearing this hat. Edelbrock. Somebody left it at their house. They don't even know who it belongs to. Ready? Ready? Here we go. Do it higher than that. Oh, thanks, Symphony. How are you, Mommy? Thanks, baby. So seventy are here all the way from Texas to visit family in San Diego and what is our family doing? Yeah, I just love that. I love the spontaneity of the trip. I so you guys spontaneity so much spontaneity that she didn't have it there. <laughs> Excuse me? Talk about spontaneity. She's saying how she loves the spontaneity like and she's saying and hey, we're gonna have the Easter hunt tomorrow and it's gonna be here. <laughs> She's so spontaneous that it's no, that it didn't happen there. It happened here. Oh, there he is, Uncle Mark, everybody. We did shoot video from the 40th floor. Oh, did you guys shoot video from the 40th floor? We did. On the Hyatt? The Hyatt? Wonderful. You know my friend Nick? Mark is the husband of Aunt Marilyn. Hi, Nick. Hello. This is a theologian here, right? I'm learning. Learning. Good at school? Yeah, always learning. Cool. He goes to the church we went to today. Grace, what is it called? Grace Bible Church. Grace Bible Church. 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 Anyway, they're watching the vlog while I'm vlogging them. That was some good food with good company. It felt kind of like being back home. I loved that it that we were. Yummy meat. Um, mm -hmm. I really liked the raw meat because it tasted like <laughs> raw. The raw bacon. Well, the not cooked bacon, and it was so good. It was ham, silly. It was cooked. Yeah, it was all cooked. Yeah. It wasn't the white bacon. part. Oh, oh the, the fat, fat part. On my hand. Gotcha. Fat. Hey, bro. Symphony had those all laid out. Let me see what you got. Oh no, Abram just dumped off. Hey, bro. Morning. I laid them all out. You laid them out? What do you mean? Weren't yeah. they just put in the bag here? No, no she, I was washing them. Yeah, she had them all laid out on the yeah. Oh, you had them all spread. They're all dry, so baby. Abram. They're all dry. Yeah. You like my Olaf jammy? Uh. Yeah, I love your Olaf jammies. You do? I love them, buddy. Bro, Abram started this new thing he picked up today at Marilyn's house. I don't know who he picked it up from. Show us your scary face, buddy. We did? He was trying to intimidate me. He told me to go downstairs and get him some juice, and he went, ah. It makes me more. Make me more. I 
Jesus, Daddy. <sighs> yeah. And then we started laughing at him, and he went, that's not funny, that's scary. They're so cute sleeping together. Do you guys love it? <laughs> so sweet. A hotel house, yeah. A hotel house. We have a water bed. We got a little side rail here. And if that doesn't do it, we have this ottoman we push against it. So if he falls, we'll hit that first. How do you feel about us celebrating Easter today with Easter eggs and Easter egg hunts? And even using the term Easter. Well, I kind of talked about it a little bit earlier. I think there's always room for the traditional things that, that are fun with kids as long as we're teaching our kids what the true meaning of Easter is about. And we are. So as long as they know the true story, that's okay? What do you guys think? So I was thinking today, what if the resurrection never happened? What if that part of the Bible, just that part was a big lie, everything else was true. He came, he died, but he never conquered death. What would that mean? I don't know, that's a tough question. What would that change? It would mean that anybody who was Christians in our family who died did not go to heaven. They went straight to hell. And that Satan or death conquered good. So, I, I never thought about it that way. I would have thought in my head like a very like surface answer like, Oh, it's the same. Jesus still died for our sins. But no, that's so not true. Oh yeah, the resurrection is huge. Yeah, that's like the... That's what the gospel centered around, the resurrection of Jesus. Anyway, we love you guys. And uh, we hope to see you guys Saturday if you can make it. Yeah, don't For forget about our meetup. Our meetup on Saturday. Tomorrow we don't have any plans, but we'll probably do something fun. The weather's supposed to get really cold and I packed summer stuff for the rest of the, our trip. They're calling 60, what, two? 62, 63 is really, the high. Really cold. That's, That's the high. So that means like it's probably gonna be like oh. 59, 60. So it really might be cold. It might be really, really cold. Anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow for a cold day in San Diego, California. Don't forget, as always, we, we love, love you, you and, and remember, remember to love, love each, each other. other.